Have they given him too much space? Why did you see that finesse shot? Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new icon moments for Nano Torres to review today. A little bit of sentimental value FC for me because a big reason why I love Liverpool so much is because of Steven Gerrard and Fernando Torres. So this card actually looks kind of saucy for what he is, right? So he's six foot one, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills with a four star weak foot. In game player traits, he has the finesse shot traits as well as the outside foot shot trait, which is absolutely incredible to have in this game for him because of the way that his stats are actually set up for the card. So with his pace, he's got 97 acceleration with 95 sprint speed, which is amazing for base card stats. You don't have to improve that. For shooting, he's at 97, 99, 89, 85 uh, with 90 penalties at 96 composure, right? Uh, we're going to give him the marksman chemistry style because with the marksman chemistry style you do want to boost his shot power long shots and dribbling stats as much as possible reason being for this is because this card is a high and average body type right so high and average body type we want to be able to work with his ball control dribbling reactions as much as possible so that you know if you turn on contextual dribbling or something for your uh base dribbling stuff then it could be really fun to work with, right? Uh, with passing for base card stats on this card, he's at 84 pa a short passing, 84 curve with 90 vision. So as a striker, that's perfectly fine. The long passing is not necessarily a huge issue because you don't often do it anyways. Uh, for the dribbling on the card, like we said, we are going to boost the main dribbling stats as much as possible because I feel like his agility and balance is definitely in a good area. Not necessarily in a full meta area, but pretty decent for his body type. Uh, for defending, he has 85 heading accuracy. With physical, he's got really good physical stats at 85 strength with 88 stamina and 86 jumping. So everything is just a really good cutoff with a card like this to match his realistic characteristics and to, you know, just have fun with him in the game, right? So with Fernando Torres... We're going to be using a team like this. By the way, it's pain. Uh, you can switch these two over here and get chemistry. I don't know if you realize that, but you can totally do that. I'm not going to touch it because it's your account, but just wanted to let you know about that. But with Fernando Torres, we're going to be trying him out in the 4-1-2-1-2 with tactics like this. Uh, we're going to be using Fernando Torres in the left striker position to be able to, uh, you know, test out his outside foot shot trait, finesse shot trait in certain situations to see what his uh, finishing is like. So uh, just we're just going to have him up top in the striker position on balance instructions, nothing too crazy with the tactics set up as a six and six with balance instructions because four, one, two, and two by default is a narrow formation. So you kind of want to stretch it out a little bit to kind of get some good attacking plays out of the card. So uh, in the first game, we're going to be testing him out with the engine chemistry style, but then I quickly realized that, hey, marksman is definitely the way to go. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the highlights and I'll uh, give you the final verdict at the end of the video now with shabby but it's a bit hard to have neymar and the starting 11 and not make it my jump in front oh man you know what's funny about uh, fernando torres is that like when i reviewed his uh, other cards this year I always mentioned how I loved his attacking AI and he's doing the exact same thing right now on this icon moment so that base characteristic is definitely still there Let's go, baby. We timed that really well, too, with the with the through ball pass right there. We'll take that. I love that dynamic image, man. Oh, I was trying to get that to Torres right there. <laughs> he go, they go for the offside guy. You know the vibes, boys. <laughs> possibilities here for liquid football shabby a glorious chance Ooh. Loose. hey man give me that shooting animation i'll take that every single day of the week i like that he goes for the outside foot right there Kurzawa. look at that movement i actually tried to get that pass off to him and it didn't work it would have been perfect towards him too Oh, Torres. Nice little volley right there, baby. We definitely take those. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Let's go, Torres. 
We missed that finesse shot? Really? Okay. Okay, guys. So for this next game, we're actually going to give him the marksman chemistry saw because we had the engine on him first. Um, and the reason why I want to do this is because I actually want to improve his shooting as much as possible while giving him some dribbling boost in key areas because with this card, obviously, because we are working with the high and average body type, I want to improve the three main dribbling stats over here since his agility and balance is already high enough. But another important thing is that I do want to give him uh, that shot power boost, which actually gives him a plus five and then a plus ten for long shots. So uh, let me go ahead and give him that and see what the vibes are. For you is a division rivals game. It's the Blades versus liquid football yeah thanks as always Derek it's a pleasure to be here anticipating a really good game today the atmosphere is great certainly buzzing from the spectators can he put them in front oh that dribbling was so much better I wasn't even using any sort of like contextual dribbling or anything like that he just did that himself positions himself perfectly I, I feel like he needs that shot power boost man like even if it's a plus five like I need it in the 90s for this gameplay Oh, let's go, baby. Yo, his dribbling, I'm not even joking, became significantly better with this marksman. Not even joking. He's doing like this close control dribbling right now. It's crazy. Oh, let's go, Torres. It's cool, man. L listen, I'm telling you guys this right now. The marksman has made a huge difference for me. Like an engine. Like don't e don't you dare give this card an engine. And Neymar. This is Neymar. Can he finish this? Dude, so much better. Oh my goodness. Finesse. Ooh, and it comes off powerful too. Beautiful stuff. Oh, we still got the sticky right there. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I want to try a strike uh, under pressure right there. He still does well with his weak foot. You see what I'm saying with the zonal marking thing? Like, what, I'm, I'm standing there, like, and you still make the pass off, like. And Neymar. And here's Wayne Rooney. And will it be the oh my god, Torres, let's freaking go, man. Oh my goodness. Do the thing, Torres. El Nino. Oh, we hit the crossbar. Too much power on that. Under pressure, he's definitely going to hit it a certain way for sure. Oh, great finish. If you couldn't tell, the game plays off a little bit. But, uh, you know, we got to El Nino hitting the bangers. Oh, he has number eight. Oh, that's so disgusting. Oh, the guy's in the net there. He dribbled so well in that situation, too. And here's Wayne Rooney. And he keeps going. Opportunity. Oh, let's go. Torres. Well done, man. Well done. Colleague, maybe get a good tackle in. Settle the nerves down. Looking forward to a good game here. Oh, look at that. Ball roll. Heel to heel. Oh. Love it, dude. Absolutely love it. Dude, his attacking AI, I'm telling you guys, it's one of my favorite in the game. 100%. And it was the same for his mid. And his, I, th I think when I it was the mid or the baby that I reviewed, and I was like, wow. Oh, man. <laughs> Those crosses are insane. And then Neymar is just... 
Neymar's just a different breed. This might be ideal for the counter. Will they profit from this situation? Oh my goodness gracious, man. Woo! I love that when you get into like the right areas with him and you just shoot, he just scores them. <laughs> it's so sick, man. You don't have to like worry about too much things, you know? Oh my, did you see that finesse shot? Oh my goodness. Oh, actually, time now. Let's go. Uh, Torres, do you have good free kicks? You do not have good free kicks. What you do have is fantastic finishing. So we're going to do a nice little cheeky free kick tactic. Make that pass. Bang. Take a touch. Good to go, baby. All right, guys. So final verdict on this Icon Moments Torres card is that he is so much fun to use. Absolutely amazing. I feel like it matches his realistic characteristics so well especially with how this game is and it, he's so playable in it and he's more playable for sure with the marksman chemistry style it's actually funny because when i use a card like this i would actually recommend that you turn on contextual agile dribbling for a card like this because he dribbles so well with that thing turned on instead of you actually having to manually do it just the way that he was dribbling under pressure was absolutely fantastic his finishing uh was awesome obviously when i tried him out with an engine i was like hmm, he's doing some questionable stuff right now but with the marksman chemistry style the shot power boost was definitely a huge plus very very needed to be able to utilize both of his traits as much as possible in the outside foot shot trait as well as the finesse shot trait um Amazing traits to have, obviously, for the attackers in this game. Uh, Fernando Torres has one of the best attacking AIs I've used this year. And it makes me love it even more because I'm obviously a huge fan of him in real life. Uh, with his dribbling, it does get affected a little bit, obviously, because of the high and average body type working with the dribbling stats. And that's only because of the game mechanics of this game. So that's what kind of, like, pushes him away from the meta. But he still plays super well in the meta, and you could definitely do a lot of work with him, right? I'm saying, like, meta-wise, because obviously with the price range of the card and stuff, right? But if you guys get this card as an SBC, right, that you have to actually unlock, or you get him in some sort of icon moments SBC in the future, he's definitely worth using in your team with a marksman. I... I loved using him. So much fun. Finishing is awesome. His charge up for the shots, you know, it's kind of like I, I I realized it was like this for like players like Neymar. Uh, even when I, when I reviewed the what if with Charleston at the time, like their charge ups are so really nice. Like they're just they just come off really well. Like when you release the shot, it, it's just bangers, man. It's bangers with cards like this, and it's just so much fun to use a card like Torres that can finish as well as he does, man. He's just. Super, super fun to use. And obviously with the Marksman Chemistry Saw, giving him that strength boost is an absolute must because of that body type that he has as well. So, you know, if you guys want to unlock this card, he is absolutely brilliant, man. Loved using him. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.